Good morning. It is Saturday, October 7th, and we are on day number 13 of this weight loss challenge vlog. Yesterday was a super fun one, day number 12. Check that out. There's a link uh, at the end to the previous day, and then I update it for the next day. Uh, but yeah, yesterday was one of my favorite days of the vlog so far. So check that one out if you haven't yet. And um, yeah, let's weigh in and see where we're at today. We've got a TLDR um, iGal live stream to do next, and then hit the gym. Lonnie's gonna come over today, and we're gonna fix up the hummingbird slash put them into lighter frames, and yeah, probably go fly. Two twenty point three, so tiny bit of weight loss. I just finished up the live stream TLDR of the round one um, of the IGAL 4 playoffs. So if you didn't check out either the full stream, that was like six hours, uh, then you should check out the TLDR, which was only about an hour. And we go over all the different challenges and the results. Um, yeah, so let's head to the gym now. 13 days in a row. Didn't wake up early enough to go in the morning like I wanted to, but uh, got at least a session in here before Lonnie comes over and uh, we get doing some other stuff. I guess if I have time late, later tonight, I'll come back, but not certain. We'll see how the day goes. Anyway, good workout. Ready to fix up some hummingbirds and go fly. So it's Saturday. It's about halfway through the week uh, and we gotta do a Ski's ear again for her ear infection. Doesn't like it much, but I think the antibiotics have been helping. She hasn't been shaking her head as much, and maybe this ear just stuff washed up or good too. I know you don't like it, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it. All right, Lonnie made it over finally, and we're going to uh, kind of fix up our hummingbirds and maybe go fly. I also have a couple other drones to repair. Lonnie got two hummingbirds too, and he got the dreaded double red. Ugh. All red frame, red canopy, and a red canopy, red props. That's what I was definitely not looking for, even though we're just swapping the frames right now anyway. <laughs> we're trying to swap the hummingbird into a meteor airframe, and we've run into a couple problems here. If you put the uh, board in just normally, the USB sticks down a into little bit too far. Slot, yeah. yeah, so when it's all the way screwed in, and you put the battery in, it's gonna push on the USB. The USB, it'll push it down. Which yeah. is no good, it'll like transfer a bunch of vibrations yep. to it, and then like if you smack on the bottom, it'll push that right up into the board. So we thought about turning it, can't do that, because then the motor plugs are in the way, flipping it over, try to do that, then it, uh, the motor uh, wires are too short, so you have to and the, go to and soldering. The people have fit it. Yeah. With, the, with the plugs, yeah. yeah. So you'd have to either go to soldering, or so our final solution, easiest solution, is going to be to try to cut down the USB thing. You don't Shaving need. Down. Yeah. Don't... All right. So me and Lonnie just finished up re um, homing or reframing our hummingbirds, and both of them were way more of a hassle than it should have been. I put mine in a the new hummingbird or the new newbie drone lightweight frame because uh, Lonnie was putting his into a meteor airframe and the USB sticks out too low and it contacts the battery, which was causing the whole drone to have weird fluttering. He had to like put little risers on his pegs so he could get it up high enough. Cause we tried to sh cut down the USB that didn't work, tried to file it down, didn't have the proper tools. Anyway, that's why I put mine in the newbie drone frame instead. They are like two and a half, three grams lighter now. This one is 20, 0.18 and Lonnie's is what? It was 20.3. 20.3 and then Lonnie's stock was 23.6. So that's pretty easy. I also put on a Oort antenna because that's the best the air antennas by far. Anyway, let's rip it around and see if it still flies good. Just ripped it around outside and frame swap uh, for sure success. Not sure which part, probably everything combined, making it lighter and definitely the uh, lighter props. And yeah, it flies great now. I'm sad that the other one doesn't work, but I'm gonna try to make it an HD01 
maybe. There is no cam um, pad on the Hummingbird V3. So if you if you want to put on a different camera, you either have to like pl splice the wires so that you can plug it into the little plug or break the plug off on the back and then solder to the tiny little like spot where the, the plug is connected to the board because none of the pads are actually a cam pad. Okay, so Lonnie took off and um, yeah, we had a good session building some drones and stuff. I got the Hummingbird fixed up like we already talked about and then I also put together this 65 millimeter HD Zero Whoop with iGAO motors. Flies pretty sweet. And yeah, now it's midnight and uh, I'm not that tired. And so I figured I'd go back to the gym, why not? So we're gonna do a late night session at the gym, come back, edit up this video that you're watching right now, and then call it uh, another vlog. Mm, do we count this as the start of day 14 or the end of day 13? I think we'll go by sleep rather than just technical time of day. So, finished up heading back home and edit and sleep. Thanks for watching everybody. See you tomorrow. See how it flies. Fresh battery, new frame, down to about 20 grams. Oh, it flies so good now. Oh, I love it. 